Hello, this is Justin Grover with Adobe Product Management. I'm here to show you um, some of the features of segmentation, specifically uh, sequential segmentation. Um, so what I have here is a, is a uh, freeform table that shows the number of unique visitors uh, who came in through the paid search channel over the past three months. Um, and what I want to do is I want to assess how much some of the other channel marketing channels influence um, my paid search spend. And so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to come up here and I will create a, a new segment. Um, and I'm going to call it uh, comparison shopping, um, then paid search. So we'll see how many people um, how many people start in the comparison shopping channel and then move on to paid search. So I have a marketing channel um, here. And one of the things that you want to be careful with when you're doing a sequential segmentation is you usually want to um, want it to be either a visitor or a visit container. In this case, we're going to do a visitor. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to select um, comparison shopping as a marketing channel. And then we'll go ahead and bring in the marketing channel again and we'll select paid search. Um, and then one of the things that we'll do here is we'll change the operator from from having both of them to having them in order. So starting with the comparison shopping channel and then moving over to the paid search channel. Um, if I wanted to, I could click on the little clock here and I could get um, some options to say, okay, great, that they that there was a, an amount of time after that or I could even do it um, within that amount of time and then I can add um, add more more uh, criteria around that. In this case, I'm just I'm just concerned with sequence and not necessarily the time between. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and save it like this. So then I, what I can do is I can save it, and it shows up in my in my segment list. So I'll go ahead and drag this over, and then I will drag over the unique visitors metric here, and I can see how many visitors started in comparison shopping and then went on to paid search for the time range that I'm looking at. And as I can see here, the, the, the number of visitors is, is relatively low and so I can, I can kind of safely assume that my comparison shopping channel and my paid search channel don't have a lot, um, a lot in common. I, can actually, I could actually add subsequent segments to kind of compare all of these different channels to each other um, if I wanted to and that would show, that would allow us to um, uh, to again compare which channels have the most impact on other channels, um, so that can be kind of a helpful uh, a helpful process to to comparing different things or to do look for sequences of things uh, across your customer base. Um, additionally, uh, another another option for um, creating sequential segments is actually in the fallout report. So I'm going to navigate to reports and analytics, um, and I'll go ahead and leave this. And once, once I do this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to configure a fallout report, and then I can save that fallout report as a sequential segment. So I'll come in here and go into our pathing, and then we'll do pages, and we'll do fallout. All right, so I'll launch the fallout builder, and I'm going to do a, a, a checkout um, type of, of fallout. So we'll do maybe the shopping cart, uh, the shipping information, and there is a billing information, um, things like that. And so if I run this report, um, now I get a fallout of, of all of these different checkpoints, and I can actually create a segment for this path. And so what this will do is this will create a segment um, for all of the people who hit the shopping cart, the, the cart details, the shipping information, and the billing information. So We'll go ahead and create that and see what this looks like. And so we'll call it uh, cart shipping billing. And uh, you, you'll see that it's gone in and it go ahead and created all of these different steps um, so that so we can actually um, save this as a segment. So I'm going to save this one. And then I'm going to come in here to the fallout report and change my fallout just a little bit. Um, I'm curious because this in this shopping cart people can take things kind of in any order. So I'm curious at how many people did the billing and first and then the shipping. So we will run that report. All right, and then we'll create a fallout from that. So we'll call it. We'll create a sequential segment from that. We'll call it cart, um, billing, and shipping. 
And when I save this, then I can actually use this to compare which flow people take more often, or which flow has the, has the highest, um, highest or lowest fallouts. So I'll come back in here to the analysis workspace and um, add in another table, uh, another data table for us. All right, and then what we will do is we will add in our, our new segments. So let's do, we're gonna do the month like we did before. And we will do the, uh, let's see here, the, the two segments that I just created. And unique visitors. And this will let me compare how these two different flows um, work. And so we can see that, that this is definitely the preferred flow. We have, we have a higher number of visitors who complete the flow in this order as opposed to um, the, the billing and the shipping first. Um, hopefully this is helpful and gives you a quick introduction to sequential segmentation in Adobe Analytics.